All right, here with the two sports ten up from Hayfield High School, the point guard who led his Hawks to a 32-0 state championship season. They defeat Battlefield today. Braylon Wheeler, Braylon, how's it feel? You completed the journey. You always wonder if you can get this done, but to do it undefeated has to make it all the sweeter here at the Siegel Center in front of all the fans in a packed house. Oh, uh, yeah, it definitely feels surreal uh, at the moment, but, you know, our team has really been talking about going undefeated the whole year and really staying together and making sure we get the job done. And I think throughout the season, we all kept stayed together and stayed close and drove through the hard times and made sure that we got the win. Last year, COVID shortened the season. It didn't feel all that great, but you guys kind of laid the foundation for that when you beat South County, you got to the uh, state semifinals, lost to Centerville. How did you guys, what did you do and focus on in the offseason to begin this journey? Uh, well, it's funny because really it was a lot less basketball. Mm -hmm. I mean, in the offseason, we did a lot more camaraderie things. Mm -hmm. We stayed together, hung out a lot, you know, went out together. And I think that was a really big reason that we were very successful on the court. You know, we all knew each other very well. Um, we trusted each other. And, you know, I, play, I think that played a really big role. Is the uniqueness or legacy of this team the fact that you guys can have five different MVPs? It can be you one night, it can be Ashton Pratt another night, it can be DJ Holloway, Greg Jones put on a show tonight, and David King's been MVP in some game this year. It can be anybody on a given night. And that the fact last year you were player of the year, this year you didn't mind sacrificing some numbers because you cared about getting that trophy you got. Yeah, um, I mean, we're all really... This year, I mean, we knew we had five guys that can go get a bucket at any time that they wanted. So, I did, like, we all decided let's just play unselfish, move the ball, whoever can go, go. I mean, you know, if you have the open shot, take it. We weren't going to hold any grudges against anybody that shot the ball, you know, 10 times, 13 times. We knew somebody was going to be on out of the five of us. So, I mean, we just kept going with the luck that we had and uh, finally got the state championship. Sure. I mentioned you earlier in the press conference, was this game harder or easy? Was this journey harder or easy? How, how do you look back at it? Because, I mean, certainly undefeated teams are going to get their tests and people are circling you guys when you're ranked number one in the state when you have that kind of bullseye. Was it hard to kind of keep up and maintain that level of success or, or did it just become natural and easy for you guys? Yeah, uh, I mean, throughout the season, we definitely had our ups and downs, you know, with I was trying to just make sure we stayed, you know, stayed down to earth, stayed level headed, mm -hmm. so we didn't get too big of a head versus these teams. You know, we had, we almost had a slip up versus uh, Lewis. They actually played us real good, took us to overtime, and that was like, I feel like a really big wake up call for us that, you know, we can get beaten on any given night. And I told them that, you know, we all just stay together, mm -hmm. stay together and keep doing what we do and be unselfish, and, you know, everything will turn out the right way. Coming off of football, it took a little while to get back reacclimated to. What kind of was the point where you kind of feel like, all right, I'm back in back? basketball shape and I can start kind of doing what I do. Was it that game against Lanstown in, in, in the prep spot, Virginia Prep Classic? Was, yeah. was another point? Uh, it was way before that. Okay. I, mean, I was into the season long before, during football season, you know, when we were still competing at the CBG Classic. I, was, I wasn't playing, but, you know, I was always in tune watching games, all of that. You know, I really cared about the team and knew that they were going to do good things without me. Sure. So. Last two for you, what's it looking like for you as far as the outlook? You, you've gotten attention though from basketball, football. What, what do you want to play and what are you kind of looking at right now as we are here in March and you've got a state championship and the high school career is over, right? Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Um, I haven't really, I'm still keeping all my options open right now. Um, I, still, I still have many football D1 offers. Um, Basketball is still on the table. I'm starting to pick up some traction with coaches and stuff like that. So I'm going to wait it out, you know, see if I, anything pops open and just keep my option open. But, you know, I'm, it's crazy that this high school season's over, but I'm definitely glad that it happened and it happened with these group of guys. And lastly, how do you want this group to be remembered? I mean, certainly your champions are undefeated, but what's going to be kind of the, the lasting legacy in your eyes of, of this group and this team? Uh, this group's definitely going to be remembered by its friendship. I mean, not many people know how close we are just without basketball like it really it's really different for us like we like talking to each other we enjoy it we don't even talk about basketball a lot and I think that's really what kept us level-headed during the season because you know when you can talk about other things in basketball and not stress and not overthink it makes it a lot easier on everybody on each other stellar athlete bucket getter playmaker and champion Brilliant Wheeler of Hayfield High School thank you so much congratulations thank you